Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing this Samsung 980 Pro PCIe NVMe SSD um, against the SSD that came in this Lenovo Legion back here. Um, I got it because it's bigger and it's supposed to be faster and so today we're going to be starting to look at those benchmarks. So truth be told, I kind of already made this video once before, thinking it was going to be so interesting having you guys watch the tests happen. That is the most boring. I put myself to sleep trying to make that video, like edit the video. Making it, like I'm just, I'm making a video. But editing the video, I was putting myself to sleep. I was not going to put you through that. So rather than you watching benchmarks happen, I've already got them done. So let's look at those and let's talk about the results. All right, so where we're gonna start is uh, just a flat benchmark. I have the Samsung NVMe SSD in a draw in my plugged into the motherboard, as well as I have my Western Digital plugged into the motherboard, both in different slots, both plugged in at the same time, and then I just ran these tests back to back. Um, it produced kind of interesting results. So this Samsung drive is rated for 7,000 megabytes per second, is what it says right here on the packaging. 7,000 megabytes per second. But, um, I, I was not able to get tests to get anywhere near that at all today. I'll tell you that right now, nothing. Let's just look right here. So we have our uh, Samsung readouts. Um, and uh, we have a few different ways that we can run it, and I ran it all sorts of ways trying to figure it out. But our first way here, we have a, we ran it five times, and you can see the next box over is 32 gigabytes, and then we chose which drive um, to run it out of. So sequentially, we got it at 34, uh, 3,400 megabytes per second, um, sequential 128 kilobytes at a time versus one megabyte at a time. Um, we were getting 35, which is closer to those 7,000, but I never got 7,000 megabytes per second read or write speed. And this says read and write, so don't know what the deal is there. And then let's jump over to our Western Digital Drive. The Western Digital Drive is an SN730. The 730 is rated to run uh, 3,400 megabytes per second. Um, and then if we go ahead and just let's look at our results. Not anywhere near that on the first test. Uh, we got 1,200, 1,100. Um, it's kind of disappointing to look at. Um, <laughs> on my second test with the Western Digital, I actually got a lot better performance for some reason. Um, don't know why the second one did better, but it did. Um, we went from 1200 peak to a peak of 3200. Not bad. Totally reasonable. Uh, honestly, if I had a drive rated at 3400 and I got 3200 megabytes per second on it, I wouldn't bat an eye. And I think this drive, there's nothing wrong with it. However, this Samsung drive makes me raise my eyebrow and I was like, what on earth is going on here? So I'm like, well, maybe it's because I'm running my operating system off of it. So I moved my operating system back to the um, smaller drive where it was already on that smaller drive. And I uh, formatted the uh, Samsung drive and then ran the tests again, just a blank drive, no data on it, just freely run free. You know what happened? The same thing. Let's go ahead and look at our other benchmarks here. So we have our Samsung Bench not as a C drive. So it still has all the data on it, still only getting 34, 3500 megabytes per second. Um, if I then go to, uh, if I changed our slots, I was like, well, maybe one of them is a faster or slower NVMe drive slot in the motherboard. I don't know, that doesn't make sense. So I ran it again, 34, 35. And then ran it again, 34, 35. And we're within 20 megabytes per second on all of these. 
Like, it's very consistently the same. I, I, I don't know what to expect. And I was like, that is so weird. And then this week, I was recently sent a video from Linus Tech Tips that explains this. And in other news, Samsung actually pulled a similar move. Because of the silicon shortage uh, and because of the uh, COVID restrictions, the factory that makes the controller in the 970 Evo Plus has apparently been offline since about February. So due to shortages, they're actually apparently using the same controller from the 980 Pro. I'll leave a link to that video below. Uh, apparently, Samsung has been, you know, another victim of the microchip shortage or the silicone shortage. And so they've been using other chips across the boards and on the Samsung 980 Pro, um, the article references the 970 Plus and says, hey, it used the one from the 980 Pro. Well, I have a 980 Pro and I'm not getting the speeds I thought I would out of it. I don't know if it's not PCIe 3.0 as compatible or what's going on there, but I'm not getting the same speeds out of this guy as I was, uh, uh, as I should expect. Because my other one runs full speed. No problem, Western Digital is still working. It is also an older drive from prior, from before the silicone shortage, but I, I don't know, man. Um, long story short, it's still fast. If you buy one of these today, I honestly, I probably wouldn't tell you to go buy the 980 Pro. I wouldn't tell you to go get even the 970 Plus. I would tell you to go get the one that's most cost effective. But if you want this one and maybe your system can handle it and there's something about my system that can't handle this, that's fine. Get this guy, I'll have the link down below. Uh, all the links are Amazon affiliate links, so if you use those, those do help support this channel. However, um, in the uh, measurement world, I feel like it gets a little skewed when we're looking at this though, because it's like saying, hey, um, we're trying to do this, at a million miles an hour and this one does two million but then it really actually only does a million but everyone else in the world is only doing a thousand it's like wah. example uh because of this i was like you know what i have two regular magnetic hard drives in here you can see them right there um and they run so slow i didn't realize like i know that they're slow but i didn't realize how slow um, one of them is a 5400 RPM drive and another one is 7200 RPM. Let's look at the stats for those real quick, just because I had the chance to run them. So I ran it a couple of times and we got pretty similar numbers, um, but let's look at the better of the two. So this is our 5400 RPM drive right here, 163 megabytes per second. So we went from 3,400 megabytes per second to 163. So if you're on a magnetic drive, upgrading to this will still be light years ahead of whatever you've been doing. If you're going from a standard hard drive to a SSD, whether it is a um, underperforming one or not, SSD is gonna be light years ahead of what you had. and. Even if we say, oh, you know what? That 5,400 RPM hard drive is just slow. That's your problem. Well, let's take a look at our 7,200 RPM. Our best speed we got out of it, 196. So 30 megabytes per second faster is the difference there from 54 to 7,200 RPM. We're getting 196 megabytes transferred per second as opposed to, and that's, in the most optimal situation where it's moving sequentially. Um, if we're doing random, you can see our random numbers are at two megabytes per second. If we look at the other one, also at two, 2.06. But then we jump over to our SSDs and we're looking at still random for 3,400 instead of 3,500 on some of these. So SSDs are much better in 
every way. But for some reason, I don't know if I just got a bad chip or if uh, Samsung really is throttling their own stuff. Uh, go check out that video in the link below for Linus Tech Tips. He's got a video on uh, not this 980 Pro, but the 970 Plus talking about um, how Samsung is switching out chips because of the, the silicone shortage and we will see where that all goes. If you have questions about this, about these benchmarks, about other things on this guy, let me know in the comments below. I'll be uh, more than happy to answer every comment down there. And that's gonna basically wrap it up. So, long story short, uh, this one is faster, faster than the Western Digital, but not by much, and I'm not sure why. It might be because of some changes in the microchips and the silicone shortage. Um, might be something else, I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below as well as any questions you have regarding my PC build here and anything else you'd like to see in the future. Um, I'd be more than happy to help as best I can. I'm not the best guy, but I definitely am more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, Use the links below to help support this channel. You can, if, even if you're not buying directly, those items there in the links below, using those links does let Amazon know that I am sending traffic that way and helps support this channel. So we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.